All right, so for these examples, we're going to use our log properties um, to expand the terms. So right now they're condensed and we want to rewrite them um, expanded. So instead of just one log expression, we're going to have multiple log expressions. So um, since we have log base three of an argument that I can recognize as a product, that means in expanded form, these are actually going to be addition. So we're doing log base three of four plus log base three of x. And to check your work, you would ask yourself, if I condense this, would I get back log base three of four x? All right, on the next one, um, we got log base four of x divided by y. And we'll remember that if my arguments are a quotient, that means if I expand it, they were being subtracted. So log base four of x minus log base four of y. Here's another one that I recognize. This is a quotient, but this is also a product on top. So I will actually have three um, log uh, things that I have to piece together. So log base three of five plus log base three of x minus log base three of seven. This one I recognize as a product, but also that one of my terms is um, raised to the fourth power. And so in expansion, that means that this was a multiplier in front of my log function. So this is going to change to four log base two of m plus log base two of y. On the next one, um, root three of a is really like saying a to the one third power. So I'm gonna rewrite that part like this. That way I can see that this is really just a multiplier for that part of the log expression. So now I have log base three of five plus, because this was um, a product here, one third log base three of a. On number 15, I have an argument that's being squared. This argument is a product, so that means I will have two logs, and each log is going to have a multiplier of two because the entire argument is being squared. So this is two log of a plus two log of c. And be careful that you're not trying to write a as, as a subscript because really the base here is the common base 10. All right, number 16, um, we have a product and a power. So products are going to be addition. The power is going to be multiplication. So I can expand this as log base two of a plus one half of log base two of x. We're gonna skip 17 for a second. Um, and write C the back. We're going to do that here in a minute on the back of the paper because that one we kind of need more room for. This one, when we expand it, um, natural log, remember, is just a special type of log. It has its log base E, um, so it has all the same properties as log uh, base 10 that we discovered on the other side. So this is natural log of 3 plus 4 times the natural log of e, and then I notice that natural log of e can simplify to 1, so now I have natural log of 3 plus 4. All right, so now what I need you guys to do is um, we're going to redo problem 17 on the back side of this because we've got more space here. And this problem I want to show you in two ways. So the problem is log base two of quantity two x squared divided by eight. Okay, um, so for this, uh, we're seeing that we have a product on top with a power. So this is addition and there is a scalar multiple and then division is really subtraction. Um, that's 
that's not the bad part. It's just long, right? So we're going to expand it now. Log base 2 of 2 plus 2 times log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of 8. All right, from there we should simplify some more because um, this cancels to 1. But over here, I notice that 8 can really be rewritten as 2 to the third power. And if I rewrite it like that, then I notice log base 2 and this base 2 cancels, and I'm left with 3. And it's negative because there is a negative sign in front of the log there. So now I have two numbers that I can combine like terms with. So that's negative 2 plus 2 log 2 of x. This didn't change at all, so I'm just carrying it down. So there's one way to look at the problem. Another way to look at the problem is to notice that in the very beginning, I could have reduced this fraction here to 1 fourth. So if you notice that, then the problem would have been log base 2 of 1 fourth x squared, like this. Okay, let's see how this um, changes what the work looks like. So it's going to be log base 2 of x, and I have a power of 2 up front, minus um, log base 2 of 4. And then I recognize that this can be rewritten as 2 squared. Log base 2 with base 2 power does cancel and I'm left with 2. So then I would have 2 log base 2 of x minus 2. And that is the exact same answer as this, just um, one with the coefficient up front and one with the log in front. So this one saves you a couple of steps if you notice that in the argument that you could have reduced your fraction first. All right, so now we're flipping back over. We've got one more thing that we have to talk about, and that is the change of base formula. Um, your calculator operates um, with log base 10, and if I'm asking you to evaluate things that don't have a base 10, then there's not a way that you can do that without knowing your change of base formula. It's kind of like fractions need a common denominator. Um, if you want your calculator to evaluate a log function, you're going to have to change it to log base 10 because that's the common denominator uh, equivalent type of scenario to, for your calculator since it only does log base 10. Um, if you have your own personal calculator, there is a shortcut button for this, um, but that's why we're not letting you use your own calculators during quizzes and tests because this is a formula that we want you to be able to use. So. Um, it is that if you have a log function with some other base, not base 10, to change it um, so that it was the equivalent in value under base 10, what you're going to do is change it to log the common base of A, your argument, divided by log the common base of C, the old base. So I kind of like to remember it as log of argument over log of base. All right, so what does this look like? So if I ask you to evaluate this and you don't have a calculator, you would use your change of base formula and say this is equivalent to log 3 over log 8. Each one of these um, are the common base log 10, base 10. If I ask you to evaluate it in the calculator, then you simply would just do log 3 enter divided by log 8 enter, and you would get a decimal approximation of um, 0 0.528. So this is what we call the exact answer, something that you can give back to me without a calculator, and this is a calculator approximation. All right, um, so then this one, if I need to evaluate without a calculator, it would be log 4 of log 6. So 
change of base formula is log of your argument divided by log of the base. If I ask you to evaluate using a calculator, then you would do log 4, enter, divided by log 6, enter, and get a decimal approximation of 0.773. And for the last one, even though my argument is a fraction, a fraction this is still on the numerator. So it would be log 24 divided by 5, enter, right, divided by log base 6. So here's the exact. And then if you evaluate um, with a calculator, it would be 0.875.